Good morning, Bishop Robertson. Good morning, co Pastor Lena Robertson. And Shalom, Mount Gilead Church. I'd like to actually say Shalom Mishpacha. Shalom Mishpacha means peace of family. You are my family. Of course, Shalom is a greeting in Hebrew, which also means peace. So I come greeting peace to this family here at Mount Gilead Church. You know, my name is Paul Blossom. I'm the founder and director of Hope for Israel Ministries. And uh, it's, it's been a prayer of mine for two years for this day. To see this, be able to uh, uh, represent my people to this church. Wow. To this life. <laughs> two years ago, Two years ago, I was invited to bring uh, to be part of your international day of missions in September. Reverend Wilkins invited me, and she asked me to carry the Israel flag. And as I looked on all the flags, there was one not yet there. Not yet there. It was not the time yet. Now is the time. The flag, this flag represents people of the Bible. God's chosen people, the Holy Land, of past and of even today. And so today, we commemorate our partnership, our friendship. How many, how many Bible scholars do we have here? Anybody know, anybody know what Romans 1.16 says? What does it say? How does it start? For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Everyone who believes. Is it in there? Is that the end of the verse? No, it says to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Can you just imagine if God hadn't done that for the Israel people, we would not have the scriptures. If it wasn't for the Israel people, we would not have the Psalms. We would not have, you know, the Proverbs, the prophets. Jesus, the Messiah, is a Jew. The disciples, the apostles, all Jewish, willing to share this good news with every one of us. And you know what? Many of my people don't know Messiah yet. And therefore, I thank you for your partnership, your friendship, your prayers. Thank you for standing with us. And in our friendship and partnership, we just want to dedicate this flag to this congregation. You know, Israel today knows that it doesn't have very many friends. And so we cherish the friendships that we have. And the friendships that we have, we hold dear. And you are one of those churches that is the friend of Israel. And in, in honor of Genesis 12, verse 3, it says, I will bless those who bless you. Speaking of Israel, I just pray a rich blessing upon you as a church, Mount Gilead, and upon your ministry, Mr. Thank you very much.